Oh, a bit dark today. Light yesterday, dark today, we're doing well. Morning folks, sorry to keep you waiting. I do apologise. Um, I apologise for keep you waiting. I was on a building site there, so as you can see, I'm a wee bit ruffled. Because I had my hard hat on, folks. Such a bright sunny day, I had sunglasses. Hard hat. And face mask. So, this is how you've got to do things these days, when you know, when you go into a building site. Phenomenally. <laughs> hard work. Anyway. Let's take the earpiece out. Now get the hard hat off. And pick up the book. Got a new iPad, folks. Started it the other day. I'm going through one a month at the moment. Right, where are we? Okay, because we're running so late. Let's get this broadcast underway. Coronavirus update. These are the figures for the 15th of the 3rd, 2021. Tested in Scotland since the pandemic reached our shores. 1,746,323. And that was plus 3,174 from um, Sunday to Monday. Tested positive. Since the pandemic got here, 210,008, um, two, and that was plus 456 new cases from Sunday to Monday. In hospital, there are 447 COVID patients, down 16. In the ICU units, well, in the intensive care units, sorry, there are 40, that's no changed. Vaccinated, um, 1,908,991, and that was plus 20,294 from Sunday to Monday. Deaths, um, sorry, all right, of that 1,908,991 uh, who have been vaccinated, 161,945 have had both JAGs. Okay, deaths. Um, I'm happy to report there was no registered deaths from Sunday and Monday, but as we know, the registry offices were shut. So that figure remains static at 7,510. Community and hospital deaths combined, 9,725. Okay. Right then, let's have a wee review of what went on in the news on Monday, all right? Monday started uh, exclusively in the English rags, because it was the English rags we were looking at, and it will be again this morning, um, eh, on the incident in Clapham Common on Saturday. Most stated that the Chief of the Metropolitan Police in England um, was a, um, in London, sorry, was fighting to save her job. Cassida Dick, he eh, managed to get out of this time, Cassida Dick, said she would not resign, but hey, why should she? No one else doing that road resigns for any reason. Let's face it, Health Secretary broke the law. Um, still in post, Prime Minister, um, the Home Secretary and the Chancellor of the Exchequer have all broken the Ministerial Code. And still in, and they're all still in post. So why should Dame Carissa Dick be the only one different to the rest of them? Right. The Home Secretary has ordered that uh, Her Majesty's Inspector of Prisons, carry, uh, sorry, of Police, carries out a look and learn exercise into the policing of Saturday's vigil. So that's it. A look and learn. Nothing else. Absolutely nothing else. So there'll be no action taken against anybody for the behaviour of the Metropolitan Police on Saturday. Nobody will lose their job. And everything will just carry on doing that road, but what it did do was it highlighted some of the uh, infringements on the rights down there that are being placed into law um, through the courts policing, sentencing um, a bill. For example, they've added uh, reasons for, getting, uh, um, for police intervening in a protest. Noise and impact. Well, if there's no noise, there's no impact, it's no a protest. 
Something like that. They're basically banning protest. The other thing that was interesting was, under the Sentencing Act down that road, rape, five year. Damage a statue, ten year. You couldn't make it up. Right. Monday. Um, the return of more kids to the classrooms across Scotland. P4 to P7 uh, are back full time and secondary years 1 to 3 return to school on a part time learning basis. Basically just to get them used to going back to school. Okay. Monday. More EU countries suspend the rollout of the AstraZeneca vaccine due to concerns over uh, fears it's leading to blood clots. Um, the World Health Organization are recommending that countries continue to use the vaccine, stating that it is safe, right? The vaccine, uh, uh, there has been uh, about 30 cases of people developing blood clots uh, after uh, receiving the vaccine in Europe, and 29 cases um, where it's happened here in Scotland. We second folks need to get a drink. I'm dry after that. Yeah, I'll try to get my coffee. Right, that should help. Um, right, AstraZeneca said the number of blood clots were low, uh, lower than expected, considering 5 million people have had their first shot of the vaccine. Dr Gregor Smith, Scotland's Chief Med Medical Officer, tells Scots that the AstraZeneca vaccine is safe and that he urges the Scots to keep getting, keep getting vaccinated. Republic of Ireland and the Netherlands joined seven other European nations in pausing the rollout of the AstraZeneca vaccine. And we can add France to that this morning because France has been added to that list this morning. Okay. Monday, a Motherwell church has been uh, reported to police over breaches of COVID rules. All right. Um, now, hey, eh, what they were doing was conducting illegal services, all right? Um, the Hope United Church in Motherwell, led by Pastor eh, Mike eh, Ralston, uh, sorry, Mark, eh, I'm, eh, Mike Ralston, um, posted videos online of ser uh, services with uh, musicians on stage with the pastor and uh, with the church for parishioners gathered uh, um, with no social distancing, no evidence of, of face masks. A spokesperson for Police Scotland in the area says um, they are investigating the incident. Local MSP Claire Adamson said that the behaviour of the church was irresponsible and could have led to um, the receding of COVID in the local area and potentially further afield. The videos of the law-breaking events have now been removed from the church's website. You imagine that, eh? You know, right at the beginning of this pandemic, when they're telling us that eh, you couldn't eh, um, eh, do leafleting and things like that, and if you had mail, leave it lying for 72 hours before you pick it up and things like that. We had the same church for Motherwell coming round our village, posting leaflets through the bloody door. Um, the residents complained to the police about the pastor and his, his congregation coming up to our village and a uh, posting leaflets endangering the village. At that point, Motherwell was quite a hot spot. And uh, we rural villages, well, it hadn't really reached us by then, you know. Monday, a study by PwC compil uh, compiled by a local data company has found that uh, in 20, uh, 2020, more than 1,200 stores closed um, uh, closed their doors in 2020. Six, only 612 new stores opened up, right? Now, PCW said the changes are down to um, consumers moving to the online offerings, right? PwC said uh, we haven't seen uh, the real impact of COVID yet, and many more businesses may not reopen with consumers spending a consumer, consumer oh I'm having a hell of a one the day. Consumer spending moving to online offerings as I say. Now what PCW says is that most of these stores that closed were chain stores, you know, Dorothy Perkins, Topman, all that sort of thing. 
of disappearing after the high street. And hey, uh, we got a wee bit later and the reporters a wee bit merry at that, okay. But there you have it, folks. 1,200 stores closed uh, so far in Scotland um, since the beginning of 2020. And it's speculated that many mayor stores which have followed their staff and um, are actually sitting waiting on permission to reopen won't reopen, right? Um, Monday, the, spe the, the press are speculating that the First Minister is about to announce major relaxations in COVID restrictions in her regular Tuesday update um, to Parliament. The First Minister has been reported a... Uh, to, um, to have said that things are getting a fair bit better um, and that we're weeks ahead of where she thought we'd be. As expected, the First Minister will give details on dates for the reopening of uh, some retail outlets and uh, more relaxation on the rules for people meeting in groups and probably meeting indoors. Monday, Thornton's Chocolate uh, Makers announced it is to close all 61 of its remaining UK stores, putting 600 retail jobs at risk. Thornton's